Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Tiare and Amiya just emailed uh, about 40 minutes ago and, uh, and said, can we come do our shahada? And we're like, come on over, we're celebrating today. Uh, Bismillah. And uh, are, if you guys are comfortable, can you share a little bit about your journey? What, what brings you here? What brings you here today? Whoever wants to go first, uh, whatever, whatever you want to share. Um, about two years ago, we participated in our first Ramadan. And um, after participating and doing a lot of research and soul searching, we decided to kind of continue practicing. So we've been practicing since then on our own, and I've been researching on how to officially make the transition. So that, that's what led us here today. Thank you. Would you like to share anything, Amiya? That's pretty much the same thing. We were both, we both had separate interests and kind of would start speaking about converting. I grew up Baptist, and so, I'm going to church with like my family and stuff, and so I was talking to her about it, and she was like, oh my gosh, I was thinking about the same thing. No way. And so that's why she, we did the first Ramadan together. It was hard, it was hard, <laughs> but um, <laughs> we've been um, practicing, and she's been like researching and teaching me some things. I have some awesome coworkers that have been sharing different things with me too. And so um, wow. here we are now ready. It's amazing, yeah. mashallah. I'm honored, we're honored to be here to witness, to witness this moment. Uh, um, in, uh, in our journeys of life, uh, we have, they say, four awakenings. Um, and this is the highest in the, of the four awakenings. We start with, when we're born, we start with just a sensual awakening. Senses, where babies are just turning to sounds and tastes and putting everything in their mouth. And, and they're learning to use their senses. And then they go to a emotional awakening, where they start to experience things. They can start, you know, uh, babies when they're, they don't have experience shyness or, you know, or, 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 ang or, or, or even fear or anxiety until they get a little older, right? Um, and so these emotions, they start to experience them. And then there's an intellectual awakening, ideas in our mind, and I can understand and comprehend. And then there's a spiritual awakening, right? And, and, and this is today. Um, part of the spiritual awakening, um, and uh, and Emiya and Tiare, Tiare, um, you know, this day is more important than any other day of your of your life. <laughs> really, I mean, life is not easy in itself, and it has its ups and downs, and it has its challenges, and it has its this, but you know, this. This acknowledgement to God is a, is a big victory. It's like, I found the truth. I found the truth. I found it. I fi finally, like, I found the truth. I found you, God. I finally found you, God. You're real. I know you. I know your name. I know your words, your love letter, the Qur'an, the final testament, the last testament of God, the Qur'an. I can, I can read your letters, your love letters to me. Right? You said you started in Ramadan, and Ramadan, they say, is, they say it's a month of fasting, and it's, and, and, it's a, and it's a month of not eating, and a month of not eating, but it's, it's a, also a month of re-falling in love. You know why? Because when someone falls in love, what do they do? They can't eat and they can't sleep, right? And they're reading and they're thinking about their beloved. And so what does a Muslim do in Ramadan? They don't eat, they sleep less. And then at night they're reading God's love letter, the Quran. So it's a month of filling our heart with God. And they say, the poet says in Arabic, he says, Laka darun fi qalbi. He says, oh God, you have a home in my heart. People today, it's often where people worship image, worship money, worship prestige, worship popularity. God doesn't look at your money. God doesn't look at, at your image. God looks at your heart, right? And today is a day to, to demonstrate, to say, God, here I am, I found you, <laughs> right? And I'm here to surrender. Islam means, 
Islam means surrender. You know why? Because this is the thing. When you surrender to God and let go, you can actually have peace. And that's why salam means peace. Because when you surrender and let go, and you're like, you know what? I have to let go of this endless chase, this attain unattainable stuff that everyone tells me I got to do. I'm going to let go. And when I let go, and I stop trying to prove myself to every single person out there, all I care about is God that I need to prove myself to, then we can experience peace, holistic peace. And in Islam, we have three dimensions, body, mind, and soul. And today you're submitting your body, submitting your mind, and submitting your soul, right? And, and they're all interconnected and related. And, and, and knowledge is very important. God gave you a mind, made you brilliant. I'm serious. And that mind, the first word God said to, to, to man, to, when he revealed this message was read. It was read. It wasn't worship. It wasn't pray. It wasn't watch screens. <laughs> you know, it was read. It was read. Because when our mind starts to read and know, then when we know, it goes into our heart and then we can love. And then when, we, when it, our heart loves, then we can go into our limbs with devotion. That's, 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 that's the way it works. Knowledge, love, devotion. Right? And if we skip to the love without knowledge, the love is on shaky grounds, shaky foundation. And if we skip to the devotion without love, the devotion is on shaky grounds. But it's a journey of all three, the body, the mind, and the soul, right? And today, you're, as you continue on your journey started long ago, this journey of the soul that existed before it came in this body of yours and will continue to exist when our bodies decay into dust, your soul is gonna continue to live. And the words that you utter right now, it's beyond the, these walls and it's beyond this body and it's beyond this tongue. It's something that goes into the, into the, 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 the invisible realm where the angels are gonna celebrate the words that you say. And this, these, these, this graduation, this spiritual graduation is, is more valuable this is, this, is, this is real, is more valuable than any other graduation. I don't care if you have a Harvard PhD or a whatever. This, this is the real deal. We don't take our Harvard diploma to our grave, ladies and gentlemen. We take our, we take our heart with us, our spiritual heart. We take our deeds. So this is a beautiful moment. I congratulate you, I congratulate you both Tiare and Amia, I congratulate you on taking this step, on telling God that you own me and I will conform to you. And I trust you. I trust you, God, more than I trust my own self. <laughs> more than I trust my own self. That's, that, that's real. That's deep. That's powerful. That's, not, not, that's our way. Because he's the, he's the all-wise and all-knowing. We're not the all-wise, we're all you know. So we trust God. And sometimes, you know what? Sometimes it might be difficult to see the wisdom in something that God does. You know what I'm saying? Just be real. You know, why is that happening? Why did this happen to me? Why did that happen to her? Why did that happen to them? And we can't see the wisdom, but you know what we need to see at that moment? We need to see with the eyes of the heart. We need to see Al-Hakim. That's one of God's names, the All-Wise. We need to see Ar-Rahim. That's one of God's names, the All-Merciful. Even when we don't comprehend with our brain the wisdom, we know the All-Wise has his cosmic theophany. The cosmic theophany as he orchestrates. And we trust and we defer. And sometimes it's not easy. It's not easy, you know? But we trust, just like a little baby or a little child, trust their mother, trust their father, even though they don't know, you know? We, and it's, it's a much greater gap, and we trust God. 
So this is, this is a, this moment when we do this, I want you guys to know this. If you ever did anything wrong in your life, and I'm not saying you did, it's forgiven. Think about that for a second. Think about that. This is guaranteed, promised by the messenger of God, Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you have anything, you ever made a mistake, you ever did a sin, you ever did anything, it's erased. That's a powerful thing. And in that moment, you pray to God in that sinless, sinless moment. I have nothing. And any future mistakes, you can erase her. God gave us an eraser. All you have to do is, is have some remorse. I feel bad for what I did, and I'm gonna, I intend not to do it again. It erases it, and that's fine. You know, God loves to forgive. And we're told that if we were people that didn't make mistakes and sins and seek forgiveness, God would replace us with people that made sins and sought forgiveness. Because <laughs> God loves to forgive, and he loves us to call him and to turn to him, right? As you're doing today, as you turn to him today, to turn to God. And him is just a limitation of language. God is, is, is not limited by, by, by any of those descriptions, but by the limitations of our language, we use these, we use these, these words and this vocabulary. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So today, as you continue your journey, it's a milestone and it's a very simple task. I'll pass you the mic, Tiare, and I will, I will share with you syllable by syllable or word by word the testimony of faith, the declaration of faith, as you enter into the fold of Islam and you enter into this community, right? And stay close. Birds of a feather flock together. Isn't that what they say? Did I say it right? Yeah, so, so stay close. You know, people, people their, their state transfers to you. And wherever they're walking, they're gonna take you with them. So choose people that are walking towards paradise. Choose people that have, are walking towards goodness. Choose people that have disciplined their egos. They don't worship their desires. Instead, they're free from their desires. It's a huge difference. It's actually, the, it's like, a, it's like this, this thing, it, people, it's like this idea, this false freedom. I'm free if I can do whatever desire I want. That's false freedom. The true freedom is being free from my desires. That I have the freedom not to eat that chocolate chip cookie, that's calling me. But if you're a slave to that chocolate chip cookie and can't resist, that's not freedom. Because I can't resist it. So we, this is an epic journey of disciplining our ego and submitting to God, the one and only, the one who owns us, the one who created us, the one who we're returning to him, inshallah. So we'll do it in Arabic and in English, inshallah. Bismillah. And I want you to know that every molecule in your body will testify for you on the day of judgment. These walls, these people, these chairs, the, these particles in the air that we can't see, all of them are bearing witness to this in a, in a manner we can't comprehend. And on that day of judgment, that last final day, before the final destination of heaven and hell, they will testify for you. They'll say, Tiare, submitted to you, Ya Allah. Amiya submitted to you. She turned to you. She acknowledged your existence. Allah. Ashadu Ashadu An la An la Ilaha Ilaha Illa Illa Allah Allah Wa Wa Ashadu Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammad Muhammad Rasulu Rasulu Allah Allah Second time Ashadu Ashadu An An La La 
ilaha illa illa Allah Allah wa wa ashhadu ashhadu anna anna Muhammad Muhammad Rasulu Rasulu Allah Allah third time everyone join us bismillah ashhadu ashhadu an la an la ilaha ilaha illa illa Allah Allah wa wa ashhadu ashhadu anna anna Muhammad Muhammad Rasulu Rasulu Allah Allah I testify. I testify. I announce. I announce. I witness. I witness that there is no God. That, that there is no God except Allah. Except Allah. And I witness. And I witness. And I declare. And I declare. And I testify. And I testify that Muhammad. That Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Is, is the, the messenger, messenger of Allah. Takbir. 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 Sallallahu we pray, we pray to, to God, we pray to Allah, we know that He that He is near and we know that He hears. And we turn to Him in this moment and we ask Him to send peace and blessings on the final messenger and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and all the prophets and messengers, all of them that came before him. And we ask in this moment, we ask you, Ya Allah, our Lord our God, our creator, our maker, our designer, the one that we trust and the one that we accept even when we don't understand, we ask you in this moment to bless Tiare and Amiya, Amin, and, and to bless them inwardly and outwardly, Amin, and to make them, to make them have beautiful, wonderful uh, servants of humanity and servants of God, Amin, and to take care of them and to heal them and to cure them, and to elevate them, and to beautify them, and to ennoble them, and to make them examples for humanity. I mean, examples of beautiful, magnanimous character, and nobility, and elegance, and to give them, and to help them hold on to the truth as the truth, and to see the truth as the truth, and to reject falsehood, and to understand that the false is false, and all of us with, and all of us with them, Ya Allah. We, ya Allah, we turn to you in this moment, and we ask you that this temporary journey that we have on this planet, we ask you to make it gentle for us, Ya Allah. Amen. To be gentle with us, Ya Allah. Amen. To be gentle with Tiare and Amiya. Amen. And to give them openings, Ya Allah. Amen. And to give them victory. Amen. And to infuse them with light and illumination and, and blessings and guidance. And to take care of their homes and their houses and their careers and their, and their bodies and their life, and their happiness. Ya Allah! Ya Allah! You do as you please. You say, be and it is. You, you do whatever you want. You are capable of everything. And this, sometimes we get hypnotized by this life, by this world, and sometimes we forget what's real, and we forget our purpose, and we forget that we're returning to you. And in this moment, we ask you to be gentle with us. When you send us reminders, send them gently, Ya Allah. Send them gently. Ameen, 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 Ameen. And gather all of us in your heaven, in your paradise, without judgment. Without judgment. Ameen, Ameen. And send peace and blessings on all the prophets and on the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. والحمد لله رب العالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما 
الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيد المرسلين الصلاة والسلام عليك يا قاتم النبي الصلاة والسلام عليك يا من أرسلك الله رحمة للعالمين ورضي الله تعالى عن أصحاب رسول الله أجمعين. We'll recite together inshallah the first chapter of the Quran, which is your first homework assignment on your journey of knowledge to memorize that first chapter. Al Fatiha. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين 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 Let's get some hugs. Takbir. Let's get some hugs. All right, for the ladies, let's go. For the men, no hugs. Just like... <laughs> 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 